All right, talking about building the skills, just treating speed just as if it were like a uh, like a hundred yard wedge shot. What are some things that we do we work on that consistent speed action, whatever it is. Uh, I've got a three wood with me and I've got swing radar here. Now, I don't ever really see anybody do this with a three wood, but I do this for a specific reason because of the fact that over the years of, yes, sir, that's my little helper. Uh, over the years of doing speed training and stuff like that and trying to hit longer drives, I've gotten more and more on the up, which is raising the shaft and then getting this real big kind of push to the right. And you can't really do that if you play a fade. So what I've learned to do is actually work with hitting a three wood. Uh, and I'm just going to swing this as fast as I can. Just like in the drills that I was doing inside the building, it's not so much contact here as it is, you know, just making really fast swings. And in this drill too, it's not just about the fast swings. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swing extremely fast for two swings. And uh, the, the highest swing, I'm then gonna try and swing half that speed. So I'm gonna give two swings as fast as I can, and then one swing, the third swing is gonna be half the speed of the others. So in this drill, what I normally do is I take my three wood, and this forces me to where I can't get real far inside out or I'll start catching it fat. Now, even though I don't want to, some of these swing as fast as I can, I will have a tendency to, so it kind of keeps me in check. The thing that I really focus on this drill is it's not just all out speed. Good hit, buddy, is I ought to be videoing you is that I'm gonna swing two times as fast as I can, and then the, set, the highest swing, I'm gonna try and swing half that speed at the second one. So I'm gonna show you kind of what I'm talking about in here. So I got a few balls here, and these are pretty much all out three woods. That had to be an error, that showed 129. kind of thinned it there. Wasn't the best contact, but again, I'm swinging this three wood just ridiculously fast. I'm low here again. Oh, there we go, 120. So I'm gonna take that second one. The first one's probably a little high there. And that second one I caught a little fat. Good dude, good job, dude. So half of 120 is 60. This is really difficult because now I'm gonna try and swing 60 miles an hour with this three wood and try and make it through here. So let's see what I can do here. That was 87. So way off. This is the first time I've done this drill since last summer. So let's see if I can get better here. And again, on that really slow swing, I'm forcing myself to do a full swing. I'm not just gonna take it back in here. The whole point of this is just to try and maintain that and get a good feel going through the swing. So right here, swinging it fast. <clears throat> oh, that's a long ways, 121. And I've got more in the tank on this too. I really could be swinging faster, but I'm really trying to get this more rotationally. Again, it's my first day doing these drills, so. Get my golf ball. Yeah, I'll get your golf ball. Here we go. <clears throat> that was way behind it, probably two inches fat. 125. Do you need some golf balls, buddy? Here you go. I'm gonna go video your swing in a second. So I'm gonna do this one more time. 125, trying to swing at 62. Coming back in here and 66. So you see, you start generating this feel for speed and movement. And what that does is it really throws off your body on this because what you, I, I don't really, it's challenging and it's difficult. And then let's see 66. <clears throat> 120 again. Gosh, that one was hit hard. I think that. 
Here we go. Let's go again. <clears throat> Boy, that one's blistered. 122. And I mean, just to show you, that's so 122. We're gonna take half of 122 and 61. So I don't really have a good T area here. Let's go through here. Try and get this to 68. <laughs> it's harder to swing at that half speed than it is anything else. I want to show y'all Matthew. Guys, this is Matthew. This is my youngest son. He's been hitting golf balls since he could walk. So he is, Matthew, how old are you? Three. I don't know if they can hear it at the mic, but watch him swing. Good swing. You hit some more. So one thing you'll notice, these clubs could swing. I almost want to do some slow-mo of his body and how he moves. You gonna hit the iron? Yeah. There you go. I gonna hit it with this. You gonna hit it with that? Good job. Too small. That's okay. When I was a baby, I used this one. That's right. When you were a baby, you definitely used that one. But I am a big boy, so I used it. Whoa. Good oh, swing. Go. Hit that golf ball for us. Good swing, man. Good swing. So you can see what he's having to learn how to do is this club's a little bit lighter. Good swing, but he's he's really, he didn't know ball position or anything yet, but he's really good. Are you getting some more balls? Mm -hmm. At manipulating his mass. And even when he was, if he gets a heavier club, and if he gets a heavier club, what you really start to see is like that drop, just like that sledgehammer. Because that's really how you just as if you were chopping wood for hours on end. Good swing, buddy. That's how you really do this. So, One of the ways I've actually worked on my golf swing and tried to make it more like learning like he is right here is swinging like with one arm. Like one arm, one arm swings, left hand and right hand swings because you don't have the strength to be able to actually manipulate the club to do anything. Hit it. Good job. Good job, buddy. Matthew, what do you think about when you're hitting a golf ball? Um, what? What do you think about when you're hitting a golf ball? I don't know. That's exactly right. That's the best thing to have. You just want to hit it. Yeah, I want to. You want to hit it? Boom, good job. So he's three, and you can see the furthest balls he's hit are like out there by that tree, which is a good 35 yards away. So, look at you, boy. The club off way. He's my golf coach. So it wouldn't be a full day of trying to hit the golf ball a long ways unless I tried to hit the golf ball a long ways. So I'm gonna give myself a few swings here, just three swings. Each swing, I'm trying to get progressively further with each one. So let's see what I got here. One twenty-five. That was not a good swing. Let's go through here again. On these, not really worried about where the ball is going. That one probably faded about fifty yards right. Some people might call that a slice, but. Some call it a power fade. Here we go. One twenty-eight. So we went one twenty-five, one twenty-eight, getting up there a little bit faster. Good job, buddy. Let's see if we can get this to one thirty. Now, one thing I'm really trying to do here is to get my force more rotationally out over here versus getting vertical up and down because I want to be able to play golf. I'm not so much worried about going out there and competing with the long drive guys. So let's get through here, tension out. 
coming in. <clears throat> ah, 127. That one, not good contact. Lost the right arm. An old flip hook. Mm -hmm. 130. That's pretty good. Again, swing radar, measuring the toe of the club, but that's 130. So whenever, I found this is normally like four or five miles an hour off. So that could be anywhere from 125, 127. But that's really what I wanted to do today because this is my first day back in this. So what I'm gonna do now is just hit some regular drives and just get a good feel. I've already gone as fast as I can. Now, just gonna try and hit some nice. One twenty three. So, as you can see, what's going to start happening as I go and hit more and more of these balls over the next couple of weeks is that average swing speed on my little. I mean, that was just the most beautiful little five yard cut right there that you could hit, and it's good tempo. Going here. A little right, 122. That's easy. And then, after all that, Matthew, can I have a ball? Yeah. Two balls. I have one. Thank you. And then I always like to do, if I'm coming out here, after I take those nice, easy swings, is come out here and just hit some 100 yard wedges. Because this is where you don't want to mess up. So I'm here. Hit a couple wedges. Okay, Daddy, can you bring me to the cabin? Yeah, we're going to go to the cabin tomorrow. Here we go. Lighted. So, guys, that was kind of like just the um, what I'll do actually outside. Like I said, it's super easy. I actually really like to use a three wood just because your swing plane, like your, your uh, attack angle is not gonna get way too wild onto it. And you can still learn to generate speed, especially if you're trying to hit the ball decently straight or even kind of play like a little bit lower fade. So that's what I like to do. I always come out here, these drills, two balls as fast as you can, divide the fastest one half, try and hit it. A couple uh, drivers, just trying to, three of them at least, as fast as you can swing, don't matter about contact and then just groove that tempo again and groove that tempo. And remember like in this, what we're really working on and what we're trying, like what I'm trying to do in this is not just go swing as fast as I can. I'm trying to bring my playing speed up while maintaining my tempo and maintaining contact and trying to maintain some amount of control over the ball. So like, comment, subscribe to this video. Stay tuned to the channel. I have a lot more videos coming out here and it's all about golf speed, athleticism, and how to learn this is a drip feed method where there's not really many much, much mechanics in it at all. Same way you'd learn any other sport, so thanks for tuning in.